Okay, in this question we have uh, David manufacturing certain objects and he's selling them at 30 rupees and there's a cost function that is given. At the same time we have been given the data about what happens to the cost when the number of units produced moves from 20 to 40 and from 40 to 60. We want to find out what is the maximum profit. There's another statement that is given here that the demand is unlimited which implies that whatever you are producing is getting sold. That is the significance of this line. If we do not have this line, maybe some of the assumptions that we will do subsequently while solving the problem might be wrong. Okay, what is the method? First, I will try to find out B and C based on the conditions that are given and two, we will write the profit function which is the total revenue minus total cost and see how at what value of production will this get maximized. Now the first condition says when the number of objects produced moves from 20 to 40, the total cost has gone up by 66 to 3%. From this we can write the equation 240 plus 20B plus 400C equal to 3 fifths of 240 plus 40B plus 1600C or simplifying this we will get the first equation as B plus 140C 24. Similarly, using the second condition that when the production moves from 40 to 60, the cost is going up by 50%. Applying that, we will get the equation 240 plus 40B plus 1600C equal to two thirds of 240 60B plus 3600C. Solving this, again we will get the second equation that is C is equal to 1 by 10. Applying B and C, we know that applying the equations 1 and 2, we will get that B is equal to 10 and we know that C is equal to 1 by 10. Or the total cost function is 240 plus 10x plus x squared by 10. Now the profit is defined as total cost, total revenue minus total cost. And since everything that is produced is being sold out, the profit will be given by 30n minus 240 minus 10n minus n squared by 10. At what value is this going to get maximized? So if we simplify this, 20n minus n squared by 10 minus 240, to find out at what value of n is this getting maximized, you could either use dp by dn equated to 0. For all of you who know how to differentiate this, you could use this method. By solving this, you will get n is equal to 100. So at n is, n is equal to 100, you will find that the profit is maximized. For those of you who do not know calculus, the method to simplify this is, let's write this expression as n squared 1 by 10, n squared minus 200 n plus 100 squared minus 240 plus 100 squared by So, you find that this expression takes, this is a perfect square, this expression takes a minimum value when n is equal to 100. So, this is the alternate method of solving the same question without using calculus. In either case, you will get the appropriate answer as 2.